Hey, I'm Mike, and if you just had a frame or website built for you, you might be wondering, well, how do I add new content or how do I add new blog articles? So for blog articles or for anything that is in your CMS, I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll give a quick explanation of what that is. All right, so here we go. All right, so the first thing you'll do is you'll go to your dashboard, and you'll probably see your project here, and you have to just click into it. And here are all the pages, and you'll probably have something like a blog page or anything, any page where you can add, where you're trying to add similar types of content. So this could be like a blog articles, or let's say if you're creating a directory and you have a bunch of things that have similar information, then probably your web developer developed something that uses this thing called the CMS. And the CMS is basically a way of, it makes it very easy for you to just add content and you don't have to worry about the layout or anything. The layout's been created for you. So what you do is you click here, and in this case, we have one set up for blog. And so the developer probably created this for you, and all you need to do is just press New Item. And here, in this case, there's various fields here that you just have to fill out. So this can be different depending on what the designer or the developer did for you and you can you just fill this out and this will create a brand new uh, blog article so in this case let's say uh, for blog type this is a blog title let's say webadoo is the best that's uh, my the name of my agency let's let's have it featured why not and the date let's give it uh, let's say today and choose an image i just have to i can click there and i can find an image that i like so this one's good and so snippet is something you might not have this this is just something we said okay if we're going to feature a particular article let's have a nice little uh, text here so this is a snippet and so i'll just show you what that looks like and then content you'll probably have something that gives you the options that you would expect in being able to write blogs which is you have all your headings you can bold out words and uh, and create links so here let's just say this Oh, actually, I just copy pasted something before. So this is a test. So that's just a bunch of paragraphs. Uh, this is a headline. So just for if I was doing something, I wanted to make sure it's good, readable for SEO. Oops, don't want that. Oh, let me delete that and make sure that these aren't connected here. And I will just go there and go boom. There, there we go. So. Basically, I've just created the blog, and then all I have to do is click Save. And watch when I click Save, you'll see it pop up here. And if I want to preview it, so this is not published yet. So the live, so it's not uh, the people uh, looking at your website on the internet, they won't be able to see it, but you can see it. Just press this play button, and you get a you'll get a feel of you know is everything displaying as you wanted. Also, what you can do is you can go to your pages where the person has defined let's say a blog page and you'll you should be able to see it there so in this case here we have it here and then you can see the little text here for the snippet all right so with that that's uh that's really how you use the cms of a framer and it's quite simple it's flexible uh, and that's something that you can talk with your web develop developer to see if you have all the right things that you needed and uh, can always add if if, if uh, you need all right so i hope this was helpful and i wish you a wonderful day